Hello my dear friends, welcome to our very first YouTube channel, Knowledge. A uh, few months ago, me and my friend thought of doing something new and helpful for you guys and this is the result of that. So we thought of doing some uh, knowledge sharing related to programming, operating systems, database management systems and so on. Uh, we hope that you will gain a good knowledge from us and that will be our pleasure and that is really what we want. So let's start working without further delay. As the very first series of lessons, I'm going to do the scheduling policies in operating systems. So uh, there are number of scheduling policies, but before moving to that step, I'm going to discuss what are these scheduling policies. Right. In a computer, we have a processor. Right. So this is the processor and also we have lots of processors. So let's take them as a process 1, process 2, P3, likewise to Pn. Right. So uh, these processors, these processors, they are waiting in a ready queue. Right. So they are in a ready queue. This each and every process, right? Each and every process here, they are waiting to get into the processor. They are waiting to get into this processor, right? So, who will decide that which process will be executed? So, there is a processor in the computer and processors are waiting in a ready queue to get into the processor. Who will decide that which process will be executed? And that is decided by these scheduling policies, right? So what is the job of the scheduling policies? They decide which process will be in the processor, right? So I hope that you understood uh, what are the scheduling policies. And now let's move to the next step. Uh, in the next videos, I'm going to discuss with you five main scheduling policies and they are uh, first come first serve, priority scheduling, Shortest job first. Uh, this shortest job first, it is divided into two main parts. One is non preemptive, and the other one is preemptive. I'll discuss each and every policy in a uh, new video so you will easily understand them and the final one is round robin right so these are the five main scheduling policies that we are going to discuss in the next videos uh, and the links for those videos they will be given in the description uh, so i hope that you understood what are the scheduling policies and i'll write it here so each and every process they wait they wait in the ready queue to get to the processor 
and the scheduling policies the scheduling policies will decide which process will be executed right so that is the job of scheduling policies so i hope you understood everything and we'll meet in the next video thank you